Did you know that there is a point that is very close to the moon? It's right here on Earth, and it's not Mount Everest. It is a mountain in a country where lots of crazy physics happens. Where is this place? What happens there? And how can you be so close to the moon? Let me take you to one of the most interesting countries in the world. Welcome to Ecuador. Ecuador is a country in South America, and it's full of adventure, nature, and really fun people. But there is something that surprises people, like this place. Now the following may be exaggerated, but it is designed to make a point about physics. Here, tourists try to walk on this line and then they fall. They pour water down the sink, and on this spot, it doesn't spin to left or to the right. It will not spin. And as you can see, there's no very big rotation in vortex, and it is just going straight. If you stand on this spot at 12 o'clock, your shadow disappears. Entirely. No shadow. And you don't need a watch here. Because you can tell the time just from looking at the sun. But why? Well, it's all because of this line. This line separates the planet into two equal parts. The north and the south, it's called the equator. And guess what? Ecuador means equator in Spanish. As the Earth spins, there is a strong force dead pools out at the equator. And this means gravity is weaker here. That's why you can get super close to the moon. At this mountain, Mount Chimborazo, even though it's not the tallest mountain in the world, it is the closest point on Earth that you can get to the moon. The Earth is taller at the equator, and that's also why Ecuador has the second highest capital in the world. And life is not easy when you live at such a high altitude, because you're so close to the sun. You can get a sunburn very easy, and when you are that high up, there is less air and less oxygen. And yes, it is harder to breathe. Ecuador has not only mountains, but also islands, you can visit one of the world's most untouched islands on a three-day boat trip in the middle of the ocean, the Galapagos Islands. They have more than 9,000 types of animals, like the largest tortoise in the world, the wild marine iguanas, the penguins and sea lions that hang out with the humans. The Galapagos Islands are so unique. They are the first-ever UNESCO heritage site, and the animals that live there, they don't exist anywhere else in the world. And the people that live around them are also interesting. Like this guy, Migicho. Migicho had a broken life from the day he was born. Until one day he decided to fix his life. At age 52, he stopped drinking. He learned how to read, he ate healthy, and he got fit. Then he decided to fix the Galapagos Islands, his home. He got a bag and started picking up cigarette butts from the street, he picked up one after another until he collected one million broken cigarette butts and he turned them into a beautiful art like this. Ecuador is a mind-blowing place, from people to nature to science. So the next time you want to learn about science animals or physics, skip the textbooks and come to Ecuador. <laughs>